Sims here and welcome back to the channel and today I bring to you the Sierra Family Shenanigans Part 1 and I am super super excited about this LP. Um, thank you guys so much for bearing with me. The last couple of days I've really been going through a lot with a whole bunch of family issues and things like that. So this LP is definitely behind on my schedule in my head. I will be releasing that sometime either later this week or next week just because I want to keep finalizing stuff to make sure that it's, it's something that I can actually uphold to. I don't want to release something if I'm not going to stick to it. Um, so this was supposed to go out Saturday, but Saturday I was family, I was not family shopping. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. I was furniture shopping and I got some really bad news. So I just had to take a couple of days off I'm trying to get back onto schedule. Um, this part is not going to be super, super long, but we are going to dive into some things. This is kind of the intro. So Siri's about to make some noise. I'm just going to let y'all know. Oh, no, she not. Oh, thank you, Siri. Um, this is just the intro part. Intros are pretty, they're pretty boring, but you know, I don't think this is going to be boring. I think it's going to be so freaking exciting. So I'm going to start my timer. Excuse my background. If you can hear like children playing, which I thought was pretty perfect. Um, I have, I live in a very, uh, vibrant neighborhood full of children. And as you know, the time has changed. So it gets, it gets darker later. So there's a lot of kids outside playing and stuff like that, like right below my window. So I started my timer. We are good. And welcome to the world of the Sierra family shenanigans. So as you can see, the entire Willow Creek has been transformed into this family suburban type area every lot has been replaced um so i just want to go through a few things really quick first off i would like to give a shout out to jiski um she is on the gallery she was one of maybe the first people who actually acknowledged my bills when i first started my channel and these are all of her houses the only three that are not or four i can't remember the only th uh, three or four that's not is of course the sierra family shenanigans residence which is on the channel if you're looking for that speed bill i'll link it in the description below this is my off-screen family's modern little household that i didn't want to demolish this was a starter home for in my off-screen 100 baby challenge family and i believe I don't even know if I made this, but if I did, yeah, it is. If I didn't, it's part of EA. Can't remember. But everything else, all of these beautiful, modern, family, traditional looking homes are all from Jiski. Um, that's her name on the gallery. She has e amazing builds, like amazing. And we'll be seeing these houses throughout the LP. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to, well, not a shout out, but you know. Um, this is Deligracy's, um, park that came with Romantic Garden stuff that she created, as well as her teen hangout that's also on YouTube. Here's the kids park that I created, um, that's also on my channel. And then this is something I thought that was very interesting. It's actually, it's called, it's a zoo, but of course we don't have animals, but it's like structured as a zoo and there's like, it's like really like beautiful looking. I really liked it. I looked the pictures on the gallery and I really liked it. So we'll be exploring the zoo. Um, and then of course we have this beautiful pool and we have a cafe. So, um, this town is full of children, families, um, different types of families, different types of backstories different personalities and dramas and things like that I tried to get rid of as much of the original gameplay as I could I mean like game paint family like the golfs and pancake people and all that because we see them all the time and like they don't need they don't need no recognition okay they got enough look let them be so we do our neighborhood is jam-packed full and that's how I wanted it oh my gosh helicopters give me a sec okay it's past I'm like literally sick of these freaking helicopters like one day I'm going to give it to him, I swear. Anyway, so our little neighborhood, neighborhood, wow. Our little neighborhood, wait, where did neighborhood come from? Anyway, our little neighborhood is jam-packed. Oh, that's where it came from, okay. Um, And that's how I wanted it to be. So we have the Russian family, and they have their children. We also have the Styles, which is a single dad and his teenage son. We have, um, this is actually from my 30 Days of Sin Making, one of my sins. This is Sky Hazel and her little boy. And then we have the Maddox family, which is my off-screen gameplay. And they're super, super cute. I freaking love them so much. Um, and then we have the Sierra family shenanigans. And then here we have uh, the 
the Lima family. Um, this is a lesbian couple with their two adopted children. And we have Soil. She's just a single woman by herself. And then we have this Glamma Glam family. Um, apparently their son didn't get the memo of like, we're taking a profile picture, be on your best because he has on a Batman shirt, but that's the Batista family. And then over here is the Terry family. So I didn't make all of these people. I mean, majority of the people over here, I think after a while, I just got lazy and started picking from the gallery. Um, but I am also going to remodel the rest of the neighborhoods, but I didn't plan on us going anywhere in the na out the neighborhood today. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the main world we're going to be playing in this general world for a while until we can, until things grow and prosper on their own. So let's hop right into the LP. All right, guys, here we are. We are at the Sierra family's residence, and it is a beautiful beautiful house i love how it looks i'm so happy with how it turned out again the speed build it's on youtube if you're interested but let's jump straight into the lp so i want to give you guys like a little house tour as well as some little backstory in case you haven't checked out any of the other videos so here are oh my gosh I, i'm so excited to play i can't i can't believe i'm actually starting it so this is tavi sierra and she is the mom and she's a writer right now she is and she's an advice columnist and um so um the whole thing about tavi is she wants a huge huge family she is just ready to pop out babies um, her goal is to be like a journalist, but she wanted to get a job where um, she could work from home and definitely being a writer and, you know, doing her own books on the side is definitely another way they can get money. Speaking of money, wait one second. All right, perfect. I just had to fix up their whole money situation because I forgot to do that. That was my bad. Um, but because I did that, I have now remembered some things I want to talk about. So great. So, like I said, Tavi is all about um, having a big family. She's a writer. Um, she's going to be working on her books to have money in the household. So, that's great. And we're looking to get Tavi pregnant right away. Um, I've made a nursery, and I'm ready for baby. And I downloaded Baby CC, so we're going to have babies and so many, so many, so many babies. So, please, your homework, here your homework. In the description, oh, wow, okay, in the comments down below, I need baby names. They could be funny, stupid, crazy, lunatic -y. it doesn't matter. I just want some really adorable baby names. So please spam the chat. Okay, I'm not twitching or streaming. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Spam the comments with um, tons of baby names. Um, okay. And now we're on to Casey. This is Casey Sierra, and he is the husband. And he is well into his career. He is a senior manager at his firm, and his overall goal is to be, like, a top investor um, who invests money in really big corporations, things like that. Like, his job is very important to him, but his family means even more. And he wants to be a renaissance sim. He wants to be good at everything, um, I've never finished the Renaissance Sim, uh, aspiration, and it looks like the award trade is professional, and I definitely want him to have that. So that is one of our goals. Um, and then we're going to go over to our next, our little, oh, excuse the lag, it's so bad. Okay, we're going to go over to our little, oh, they're eating little chips. Okay, here's my little pride and joy. I love her so much. She's already my favorite. This is Meadow, and she is into swimming. Um, her overall, like, want in life is to be, like, an athlete, and she wants to swim, and that's, like, her ish, and she's super cute, and I can't wait for you guys to see, like, all of their outfits and stuff. Their speed cast is also available on YouTube. I'll link that in the description as well. And here's my little rebel of a boy. He's so cute, and his name, what is his name? Oh, my gosh. Oh, his name is Mist Sierra, like Sierra Mist. I know, funny. <laughs> um, Please feel free to have baby names that link with Sierra. Like, oh, my gosh, that will be hysterical. Um... I, I kind of started this thing with M's. I don't know if we want to keep that up. I don't even know where it came from. I didn't realize till just now that 
both are meadow and miss names both start with m but um if you would like to keep that going let me know in the comments down below and we will definitely keep doing that so um missed whole personality is just being on his own he's He's a very grown-up, independent little child. Um, he has a mind of his own, and he does what he wants. And one thing about this LP is, yes, we're going to be focusing on family. We're going to have some realistic drama that goes on in every uh, family ever. Um, but we are going to have, it is going to be a little bit about, it's going to be a lot about the kids and a lot about the parents and things like that. Just family overall. And I'm really excited to do that. I'm really exp excited to finish out careers. I don't think I've ever been, I think the only career I've been top 10 at was the cooking career. So I'm really excited to get to the end of both of their careers and start new ones and a whole bunch of things. So there is one major thing I want to do before we start the home tour because I do want to give you guys a little home tour in camera mode. Um, I want to talk about this whole thing of um, what I'm calling like the realistic component of this LP. So I'm going to let this play and let them do what they want to do. I think we're going to watch the kids, let the parents be all flirtatious and whatnot. Um, one of the most, one of the main realistic components of this LP, which I'm really excited about is the wish list. So I want to start this whole thing. Like it's realistic. Um, it's realistic that, they're going to have wants and things that they want to do. So I have a wish list of maybe about seven or eight things that I would like to see in this LP. And I want us to do it all together. So um, the wish list is basically they're going to save up money to have these things. It's not just going to be like, oh, let me put in mother load or whatever the other one is, Rosebud or something, and give them the money so we can add this on. It's going to be all earned, and I'm so that is, that's what I'm so excited about. So my wish list that I have right now is we want a cupcake pantry because Casey is definitely into baking. I think he has a skill in baking, yes. His baking skill is level four, so he would love to have a pantry right off the kitchen where he can go and make cupcakes and things like that. Um, so that's definitely on the wish list. Um, we also would like a pool. Our backyard is very bare. This house is very much of a cookie cutter type shape. Um, definitely, um, I would say um, Meadow and Tavi definitely use some of their interior decorating to spruce it up a little bit. But this was definitely a cookie cutter home. Um, so we definitely would love to grow our backyard and get a pool and things like that. Have a patio, a nice cooking area, grill and things like that. I'm pretty sure Casey would love to have a grill. Um, I would love to have a basement playroom for the kids. We have like a small area up here where they can do homework. And then over here we have like a dollhouse and stuff like that. But I would love for them to have a decent playroom. And that will, I would love for that to be in the basement. We are also looking into having some kind of Zen garden or Zen space for Tavi. Tavi's really going to be into yoga and meditation. I'm really excited to like a uh, full blown wellness skill. Never done. I think the highest I've been to was like six or seven. So um, really excited to see what else she can do. We, I would love for her to have like a little Zen space, a Zen garden type in the backyard. So that's definitely a part of our wish list. Game, what are you doing? Okay, it's back. Um, I would love for them to have a retail shop. Now, Casey likes to bake. Maybe we have, maybe we can open up a little bakery. And again, Tavi and Meadow really love fashion and stuff like that. So maybe have like a little boutique. Um, I was thinking of having like a family strip so we can have, um, Casey's bakery and then we can have the girls have a little boutique and then, we can sell like CC items for kids or CC items for adults or anything. Or Casey can sell her, I mean, not Casey, Tavi can sell her books. Like I have so many things we can do. And, and I was thinking a strip would be the best option for that. And then um, I would love for Tavi to have her own office. So her own office where she can go and write her books. Because right now we have this very um, traditional looking um, brown on brown executive type office for Casey and we try to keep that just for him. Um, the kids will not be allowed in there. There is a family computer in the living room but this is Casey's personal computer right in this area and we want that to be just for him. So I would love for Tavi to have her own office. 
Um, another thing is the last thing that I see would I would love to add in a fifth bedroom. So um, the kids are definitely going to be doing some room sharing. I did leave this area blank just because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to put there because the new baby, girl or boy, could definitely move into one of the existing rooms. We can just add a bed or something like that. So, um, yeah, that's my wish list. Um, please let me, if you want to see anything, I mean, anything crazy, I want to use this LP for like room builds and stuff like that. So anything that you would like to see, um, someone told me that they would like to see like a greenhouse, something like that. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go into the gardening skill just because I finished an on game off screen gameplay of the gardening skill. So I'm pretty tired of it. But um, we can definitely explore whatever. So if you have anything you would like to add on the wish list or any ideas that I've listed off that you would like to add to, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Remember, this channel is all about comments. I love feedback. I love hearing you guys and see, hearing what you guys have to say. So please let me know in the comments down below. But let's go over, let's go through a little bit of a house tour. I would like to give you the grand grand. Okay, so if I can do this correctly, because, you know, it's not like I've been simming for over 1,500 hours or whatever Origin says or something like that. I should, you know, I should I should know how to play the freaking game. So we're just going to go in, and I'm going to take you through camera mode because I feel like that's the best way. And this is going to be fair. Oh, no, that's not too bad. Good job, Diane. Good job. Okay, go through a little bit more. All right. So this is the um this is the house and my favorite part about this um is the sunken living room. It's very cozy, very homey. Um it's 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 sunken and that's the family computer I was telling you about. So the kids have their space to come down here. Um and then we have this awkward little um bamboo plant because I didn't know what to do with the space. Um and then we're going to take a look. This is Casey's office and he has all of his like little writers awards up there. Really cute and dad like. Oh, I love it so much. So we're going to go through his office and he has more of an executive office for when he has clients and things like that. Um, he has a little couch that he can nap on. He doesn't have a lot of privacy. Maybe we should look into getting him some curtains or whatever. Um, but he has like his, that's his firm up there. And that's like his little plaque, whatever. Do I have anything on the opposite side? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, he just has like some old dad pictures. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So that's Casey's office. And then we're going to go, oh wait, I'm zoomed out too far. Cause that looks really weird. Okay. So then let's go over here to the kitchen. The kitchen is one of my favorites. I definitely struggled with it, though, when I was building because I didn't want tile and brick, but then I was like, Diane, get over it, girl. So this is the kitchen, and it is a decent kitchen because Casey definitely, like, he wanted the double stoves and things like that because he loves to cook. Um, This is the, oh, that was so creepy. I did not know she was standing there. Um, Here's, like, the little kitty corner. They have a shelf and crap on it, and then they have, like, a bookcase. Okay, EA should be ashamed of himself. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? That's just a staircase and a wall behind it. Piss me off. I was livid. Livid. We should not be on The Sims 4 in that little crack crevice thingy. Uh, oh, it looked like an earthquake sh shifted the house. I was so pissed. Anyway, we're going to go up this. Oh, there's a bathroom over here. And this is like a little area that Tavi can come to and just be like really relaxed. I don't know. I just made that up. I don't know what she can do with that area. Can you go faster? Um, this is just, oh gosh, I don't even know I showed you this. I'm a little upset that I did. But this is just a downstairs bathroom, one of four, I believe. So, yes, it's very cute, very cozy, very home-like. I can't wait to add, like, pictures and things like that. Of course, we have the army coming in through the door. So, we're just going to go upstairs. Okay, don't know what I just did. Can I go back down, please? No? Can I come out? Okay, I can come out. Okay, let's go back down. Okay, where am I? Oh, no, you guys are seeing before. Okay, so we're going to go up. I can't remember how to do this, like, little effect. Oh, my gosh, stop. Stop talking. No one cares. We're going to keep going. Oh, gosh, look, it's like we're walking up the stairs. Okay, Um. so this is, like, a little entrance hallway. Boring, yada, yada, yada. Two little openings. I was bored, didn't know what to do. Um. Which way should we go, right or left? Right or left? We're going to go left. 
All right, and here is our little man. There's Mist. And here is Meadow's bedroom. Definitely love pink. Love her little interiors. I did not know these lamps were that low, but I think it's really cute. Um, She has like her little dresser area over here, her beautiful pink curtains. Here's the room from this area. Really cute. I don't think anybody has TVs in the room. Um, They should, though, because I, when I was a kid, I had TV in my room because if I didn't, my parents would be very upset because I was a very annoying child. Anyway, here's a beautiful pink bathroom. Um, of course, it is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So this is the other room. And then we're going to... Does this room have access to two bathrooms? Oh, it does. That's weird. We'll fix that. So here is um, little Miss Bathroom. And here's his room. He does have a computer, but... Tavi and Casey does not know that he has this little computer. He's actually like, <laughs> I'm not going to say he stole it, but there's no other way they can know about it. But he has like a little old box computer that he like tried to put together so he can play his video games because he's really into video games. Um, and he's just like, he tries to be a little badass, but he's not. It's so cute. Um, and that's, those are the little Jack and Jill. That's the, that's the kid wing over there. Um, and here's the parents' bedroom. It looks like everyone's trying to settle down and go to sleep. We, I don't know why it was 7 p.m. when I got here, but I think I've been playing off screen. Can't remember. Anyway, the parents actually have like a small TV in their room. And here is Tavi's little makeshift vanity set that I really tried on. And here's the en suite and it's just plain and just a bathroom. And we're at my favorite part of the entire house, the nursery. Guys, look at this. I even found, like, the little bottles from um, the Debug catalog. This nursery is so adorable, and I cannot wait to fill it with babies. I'm so excited. Um, Here's, like, a little makeshift um, changing table. Absolutely useless, but it fills up the space. And I thought it would be cute to have windows here for, like, the kids to look in when they're doing their homework. Um, just because I don't, I hate in Sims how kids can like go up to the baby when the baby's crying. Like, let, let me deal with this because you can't feed it or change it. So why are you looking at it? So this is, just, here's just a little, um, play corner for the kids to play with. And I think that's pretty much it. Did I show everything? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the house guys. And it's adorable and I love it. Can I go downstairs? Can you not do this? Okay, so it looks as though, let's see what everyone is up to for a second. Um, These two are just hanging out. Tommy's really sleepy for some reason, but we're going to have the kids. They're pretty hungry, so I'm going to have him come and eat his chips. And Meadow can um, use the potty. I'm going to have her use the bathroom, and maybe she can watch some TV, something like that. And maybe he can join her, watch some TV. Um, everyone has school and work tomorrow, but, but, Miss Tavi, we're in a baby-making mood. Oh, she needs to claim her bed. Oh, that's what I need to do. Everyone needs to go claim their beds. We'll do that in a second. But first... Tavi's about to get, I was about to say something really inappropriate, but I decided to stop. Um, I think they're so cute. Pitch story idea. Get to know, that's a little weird. You should know him already. You know, you're kind of married to him. You got two, two kids. Oh my gosh, they can be like little teenagers and make out in the closet. Wait, where's the closet? There's a closet here? Oh no, that's your daughter's closet. Ooh, don't go in your kid's closet do that that's a little cheeky um let's get a little flirtatiousness going just to embrace and she's like oh i just want this house is just so perfect for us i'm so happy we moved here let's christen it that's exactly what's about to happen so we're just gonna speed things through because we do want her to get the little we want her to get pregnant and we'll find out if she's pregnant in the next part um i do want to explore adoption in this LP just because I have I don't think I've only done that once I believe and it was off camera so I would really like to explore adoption in this LP so that is definitely a option not every time do your sims get pregnant and I feel as though when she does not get pregnant we should just adopt so um wait are you guys bugging to know 
No. Okay, no, we're not going to find out. But she's going to go downstairs with the children. And I think it's so cute. What is she going to do? She's going to hug him. Oh, gosh, I'm so freaking excited about this LP. They're so adorable. So cute. I'm really scared about the bills because we only have 5000 500 bucks um last thing i want to go through before we i decide to wrap this up um is the way we're going to save money so i came up with this idea of because we don't have separate bank accounts which i definitely think we need like if i was playing meadow i don't believe she should be walking around with fifty five hundred dollars in the pocket i mean what's she gonna do about mountain mount everest worth of candy i mean we gotta be realistic ea come on help me out here please so I've come up with a way of how the family can save money for the things on their wish list. The pantry, the pool, all of that. We bought a retail lot off camera. And yes, we are going to use that retail lot eventually when we have enough money. But what we're going to do is to save money for um, our first wish list item, which I don't know. Please let me know which, you, which one you would like to see first. Definitely going to work on that. We're going to save all the money in its mid nowhere. That's where our little um, retail lot is called. So I actually will go back and I'll name this like um, savings funds or something like that. And we're just going to add money into it. So as we go, we'll just put money into the retail fund. And it's basically like having two separate accounts. So when we're ready to purchase, say, the pool, we'll go ahead and we'll transfer um two thousand dollars two thousand dollars into our household fund and we'll have the money that we need to go ahead and do those things so that's my way of how we're going to save money in this lp um feel free to use it if you like um i i just think it's a clever way of uh saving money and putting it away so we don't spend it and splurge and things like that but guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I know we did not get into a lot. Obviously, this is the introduction. And the next part, I'm looking to see if we can start up a little kids club. Um, let me know if you would like to see two separate clubs. Um, one with Meadow and her friends or one with um, Mist and his friends or anything like that. Let me know um, about baby names. And then let me know what you want to see the first thing we should start saving for for our wish list. So I just want to thank you guys so much. I'm so excited about this LP. It's just so light and bright and I don't have to plot anything. We're just going to play and it's going to be awesome. Super, super excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys.